Hello everyone, my name is Duke and welcome. Did I fire you? You fired Isham and then you rehired me. Oh man. I've got to stop eating whatever brownies John is bringing to the office. Okay, anyway. Hello everyone, my name is Duke and welcome back to another episode of Ask Us Anything or Awoa! Where we gather your questions from the internet and answer them. In today's episode, we will find out what is action mode on the iPhone 14 series and what is the right charging practice for an EV? Sophie, cue the intro. And uh, Rory? Wait, before we continue with the video, I have an important announcement to make. Search Ninja is hiring! We are looking for driven, like-minded individuals to join our growing team. But wait, you might be wondering, why would I want to work here? Well, let me show you. You get access to incredible studios like this and all of this cool equipment. Hey, I'm trying to work here, can you get out of here? Whoa. You also get free parking. Wait, get out of the way. Even coffee from our local Kopitiam. Thanks, Cherry. So, are you interested? Hit the link below to see what positions we have available. But first, we'll start with a question regarding the Honor 70. Bro, does the Honor 70 have the Google Play Store? Yes, the Honor 70 does indeed come with the Google Play Store and Google Mobile Services or GMS. Honor used to be under the umbrella of Huawei, but it split from its parent company and became a standalone company. Therefore, it is not affected by the sanctions imposed by the United States on Huawei. Moving on, let's answer a question about the recently launched iPhone 14 series. Action Mode? Well, Action Mode is a new camera feature available on the iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Pro models. It helps further stabilize the video footage shot on the iPhone 14 when recording in situations where there will be a lot of camera shake. For example, running after someone while recording them or when recording your off-road cycling adventure. Or, in Apple's example, shooting a parkour action sequence. So, how does it work? When using action mode, the phone uses the ultra-wide angle lens to shoot the video and crops into the image a bit. The image processor then uses a combination of hardware stabilization and advanced computational photography algorithms to keep the footage as steady as possible. According to Apple, you can shoot up to 2.8K and 60fps in Dolby Vision HDR. However, if you are shooting in this mode, ensure that you have plenty of light or else you will see a notification telling you more light required. The reason being is the relatively small 1 over 2.55 inch ultra wide angle sensor in the iPhone 14 Pro models and even smaller size on the iPhone 14 models. The last question for this episode is regarding a concern about EVs from a viewer of the channel. Thank you for the actual reality check on using one of these cars. The stress on reaching these charger sites is horrendous and the wait till it is fully charged. Yes, I do agree on the anxiety of reaching a charging station before the battery dies as there are not many charging stations available across the country. However, I would like to talk about the common misconception about charging an EV. You see, you don't need to wait until the EV is fully charged to drive it. When you're out and about, you just need to charge the EV enough to get to your next destination or to the next charging station for long distance journeys. Some EVs will use GPS data to automatically set the charge time required to reach your destination. Others might not have this feature, but you can manually calculate as almost all EVs will indicate the estimated range as the car charges. Assuming your destination has an EV charger, just plug it in when you arrive. At the end of the day, when you drive back home, this is when you plug in for a full charge or up to 80% charge overnight. In order to do this, it's highly recommended that you install an 11 kW or 22 kW wall box charger at home. Using a 3-pin charger or a level 1 charger at 2.3 kW may not be fast enough to juice up the battery before the next day. As an example, on the Hyundai Ioniq 5 Max review unit that we got, 
an overnight 8 hour charge only push 20%, which has an equivalent range of 100 km. It is okay for emergency use or if your daily commute is less than 60 km. Well, that concludes our episode for today. Remember to like our video if you liked it and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok to get the latest news on almost everything. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in the next Awa. Bye bye.